Since the beginning of time, humankind has looked up at the sky, at the stars, in search of answers. A star powers our lives too, the sun. It produces the winds that move our turbines, it powers our solar panels, and it fed the plants which, many millions of years ago, became the oil and the carbon that we now use. Fuels that are, as we know, killing our planet. The search for new, clean ways to obtain energy is urgent, and we humans will have to, once again, look to the stars. My name is Pablo Ganca, and as a physicist, I'm working on the development of suitable materials for fusion reactors. But what exactly is fusion? Well, exactly might not be the right word since we only have three minutes, but it is not too hard to understand. We all know what atoms are, right? The tiny elements that constitute all matter. Everything is made up of atoms. Of these, the lightest, most simple one is hydrogen. The sun is almost entirely made up of hydrogen, and it is fuel. Constantly, millions of times per second, hydrogen atoms collide with each other in the sun. As a result, they produce energy, lots of it. This energy travels through space, reaches us, warms us up, and sustains all life on Earth. But is it possible to harvest this energy? Well, it now seems likely. For decades now, scientists have been trying to reproduce this reaction on Earth. But building a sun here can be easy, right? One of the key problems has to do with another byproduct of the reaction, a bullet. Let me explain. Remember our hydrogen atoms colliding in the sun? Well, that is not quite the end of the story. When hydrogen atoms fuse together, they produce other things. Energy, helium, and a neutron. Neutrons, tiny particles of the atom's core, are freed with extremely high energies, like a bullet. In my thesis, we have found out that high-energy neutrons, or bullets, have a great influence on the structural stability of steels and carbides. As we can see on the image, when neutrons collide with the atomical structure of steel, they produce what we call a cascade. These cascades will eventually interact with each other and produce bigger defect clusters. These clusters do, in time, become visible fractures in the material. However, my results are purely theoretical and will have to be experimentally validated. How can we do that? By building a gun, a very big, very expensive gun. In Granada, a neutron accelerator called IFMIF Tones is being developed to fire neutrons at different targets. Those that survive will eventually become our bulletproof vests and the materials of the future fusion reactors that will provide us all with clean energy. As I said in the beginning, humankind has always looked up at the sky, at the stars. But only this time, we're not just going to look at them. We're bringing one home to us. Thank you.